So hello and welcome to the November uh, Calm Clan Workshop uh, with myself, Sandy. And uh, thank you so much for being part of the clan. And I hope you're uh, enjoying and benefiting from your membership. And uh, uh, last month we had um, Modern Monk's Life. And if you haven't seen that uh, replay, I uh, highly recommend it. Uh, it had some great feedback for it. And uh, for this month, the theme is emotions. You know, it's a funny thing, really, uh, <laughs> emotions, because human beings, uh, based on more, the information I can find, have been walking around this planet for about 200,000 years. Um, so we've, kind of, we've been going for about 200,000 years. And we often hear about 2,000 years, and lots of things happened 2,000 years ago. But we've been walking around for about 200,000 years. And despite the passing of so many generations, many of us, uh, myself included, um, have taken a while in our own lives to get comfortable with an everyday aspect of what, being human, namely our emotions. Um, we're not really, I wasn't taught much about how to have a healthy relationship with emotions. I wasn't taught how to have emotional mastery or emotional freedom uh, growing up in my nursery, in my school, in my high school, in my university. There was very little talked about. And if I ever did try to raise the topic of emotions in my family, bless their cotton socks, they didn't really know what to do with it. And so they would often want to um, shy away from subjects that were too you know, emotional. And, and that's really one of the reasons why we don't necessarily have a healthy relationship with our emotions, because our relationship with emotions is very uh, in, inherited. And most of us are raised by uh, adults, uh, parents or guardians or whatever they were. Um, most of us are raised by one, adults that don't really have a healthy relationship with their own emotions. And so a conditioning occurs as we grow up, which essentially includes us um, being encouraged to shy away from, ignore, push away, and do anything we possibly can to avoid the ones that are perceived as problematic. And one of the reasons for that is the people that were raising us weren't comfortable experiencing the full spectrum of their own emotions. And so as children, when we not learned that yet, we're just feeling them fully, then guess what? They're like, that makes them uncomfortable. And so we, we pick up this conditioning that, oh, I shouldn't be feeling this way. You know, even the simple statement like, oh, don't be sad. We, we, we learn a lot to that simple sentence. You know, don't be angry, don't be sad, don't be whatever. We pick up two main things for our conditioning. The first one is the label for that energy. We pick up a label. In fact, every energy, every emotion that you can label, we have been taught that label. <laughs> We've been taught that that is anger, that is sadness, that is fear, that is guilt, that is hurt. And we've also been taught whether the energy, the label is desirable or whether we should avoid it at all costs. And, and what ends up happening through that conditioning is that we end up um, fearing certain emotions. Uh, we end up habitually resisting and controlling. And we ultimately end up in a fight with our feelings. Now, as you know, as a member of, of this uh, Calm Clan, you know at the heart of it is the philosophy and the strategy, uh, which I call peace with life. And so we really need to learn how to apply the peace with strategy to our emotions. What that means is emotional freedom, it doesn't come from fixing, changing, and improving our emotions, but learning how to be at peace with all emotions. Emotions are happening on a spectrum, just like life. And life is happening on a spectrum, and emotion and energy is happening on a spectrum too. And along that spectrum, we've learned labels, and we've learned that some of the energies are appealing and uh, we want them and we'll, we'll spend a lot of time we'll spend a huge amount of money we'll do a huge amount of effort to try to always feel these uh, positive emotions but then there's other emotions on that spectrum of possibility that spectrum of emotional possibility and these are the ones that like i said we try to resist at all costs so 
for emotions, the goal of comology is not to only experience the ones that we've been conditioned to believe are positive, uh, not only experience the emotions that we've been conditioned to believe are the ones we should have, but to be actually able and willing to calmly coexist with the full spectrum of emotions. Now, just take a moment to consider how liberating it would be if that was possible. <clears throat> how liberating would it be? How free would you be if you weren't scared about how life might make you feel? If you weren't scared of standing out uh, or being seen? If you weren't... Uh, trying to avoid how you might feel if you fail at something, if life doesn't go to, to your plan. One of the reasons why I see people not going for grandiose goals, you know, I mean, I'm talking about big goals. They, why people settle when there's so much more that they could enjoy from life? One of the reasons they do that is not because of uh, circumstance, but by the fear of how life might make them feel. If going for what they really want, certain emotions might crop up if they don't get what they want or what people might think of them or um, what the boss might say or the, their neighbor might think or whatever, and how that might make them feel. That's what we're actually trying to avoid. But if we are at peace with feeling that energy, we're not trying to avoid it, then naturally, <laughs> naturally, we are free to be and do whatever we want. Now, here's the cool thing. We're gonna adopt the peace with emotion, uh, philosophy and strategy with self-awareness, okay? And so not from mental, mindy, egoy stuff, but from presence and awareness. Now, why do I mention that? Well, because sometimes when I say this about, you know, just being, not being scared of doing whatever you want and, and having this emotional freedom, some people think that, they might do things that like walk out on their family or um, be irresponsible, you know, as in like just tell the boss to uh, go away and, or whatever. When you have uh, emotional freedom from awareness, you have discernment, <laughs> you have clarity, and you tend to uh, take the wise route uh, in the external physical world and not, not the... Uh, Alter, other option that some, sometimes the mind can throw up as a, a reason for not uh, having emotional freedom. So in order to experience this emotional freedom uh, with, with chemology, we take a two-pronged approach. The first is to, like I've say, been saying, to cultivate a willingness to experience the full spectrum of emotions. Because what we discover is some energy that, that we've been conditioned to resist is actually rising up to help us to heal and to help us to create, okay? So some spontaneous energy that arises, which we've been previously been told is negative and we're we conditioned and habitually uh, suppress it, is actually rising up to help us to heal. It's actually rising up to help us to, to create in, in, and because everything that we wanna create actually is made of and requires energy. And so we, we, we wanna be able to peacefully coexist with them. But also, we want to recognize that we're looking to actually get peace with life because when you get peace with life, you naturally don't experience as much of the, uh, what we tend to call negative emotions that are caused by our inner conflict with life. And so it's a two pronged approach, being willing to experience the full spectrum of, of, of emotions, but also being willing to experience the full spectrum of life possibilities. Because if you aren't in conflict with life, then naturally you don't end up creating so much anger, sadness, fear, guilt, hurt, grief, anxiety, remorse, shame, or whatever. <laughs>